Okay, hello uh, ladies and gentlemen and welcome. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to uh, add a group within your contacts so it makes it a little bit easier for you to share documents with multiple people, specifically for your students if you wanted to, uh, within your Google Drive. So um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click over here on the apps and we're going to go down to where it says contacts and we're going to click on that. So this is going to bring you to a page that shows you all of your contacts uh, that you have within the Mentor Public Schools. So you may not have any in here and you're going to have to, to add them. Um, but specifically the reason that we're doing this is to show you how to create a group. So if I wanted to create a group, I would go down here to where it says New Group. And I'm going to title the group uh, for those classroom teachers. I would say Edwards12. and it has been added to my contacts so now I have a group within my contacts called Edwards 1-2 so if I click on that and open it I'm not gonna have any students or any people into there so what I would need to do is come up here where the little person is and I wanna add contacts to this the easiest way to do this for you is to type in your students number and then at students.mentorschools.org. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm just going to type one in here and see if I get a student number. And click Add. And I have a student that popped up. I don't have that student, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And I'm just going to delete. Uh, I'm just going to work with teachers that I'll pretend are my students. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to type in Rodiger and I'm going to type in Burns. Now they may or may not come up. All you would have to do is type in their full email address. So if I go Now to save time what you could do is just highlight and copy the at mentorschools.org part or for your students the at students.mentorschools.org so that way you could just type in the ID number then copy and paste it so if I add those people they're now in my class contact group called Edwards 1-2 so let me show you how this would work when you're trying to share a document so I already have a document over here that we're gonna go to and we're gonna click share so now, when you invited people before, um, you would have to type in their name and then find their email address. Now that I've created a group, all I'm going to have to do is type Edwards, and my group comes up. It tells me there's three contacts in there. I'm going to click it, and then if I sent that, it's going to go just to those people. So that's how you create a contact group uh, to, sh to help you share documents quickly for your students in Google Drive.